Never become stale. Krishna Prasad never become stale. No, it is stale. As though as you are giving me stale. No, don't complain. It's Krishna Prasad. <coughs> if that mood, Mahaprasad, a group in the name of Ramani, Vaishnava, Vishnava, 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 Mahaprasada, huh? Gubindo, Nam Brahma, you have no faith. You should have full faith. Mahaprasada. Eh? Tested by the Lord. It's not ordinary food, material food. So it never becomes stale, it never becomes dried up. It is always fresh, always tasty, always very nice. That mood is not material food. That mood, if you test, then you get the test. Otherwise, some, oh, oh, bad order is coming. It has become stale. You eat, then punishment is there. You committed aparat, you must have diarrhea. <laughs> that punishment must be there. Therefore, before eating prasad, what do you say? Sadhu Savadan, O Sadhu, be cautious. Mahaprasad, go in the name of Brahmani Vaishnavi, Sulpa Punya Vatana, Vishwasana. So that full faith in Mahaprasad, Nama Brahma and Govinda, not material transcendental. No faith. Punishment is there. Understand? That is there. This is sugar coated queen. Mahaprabhu gives sugar coated queen. And if direct queen and will be given, you will talk. But sugar coated, all right. This is all nice. Take it. So, Guru has, you have to accept Gurus under the guidance of Guru, you have to do it. Guru, disciple, disciple under strict discipline, Baba. Guru will inflict very strict discipline, nothing. But you say, Guru said, yes, granted, granted, no, no such thing. Prabhupada had told everybody that they had to suffer to get Krishna. They would not have come. They would not have come. They would not have come. Do you understand? So give them sugar coated coin and let them come. Then bolt gradually, gradually, bolt will be huh? tightened. Tightened. Gradual tightening. Gradually. <laughs> we came because we were suffering and then we were told we have to suffer again. <laughs> so he did it very carefully. One who can tolerate it, wait, patience, tolerate, tightening, tightening, then you will get the mercy and get the Krishna. Although I cannot tolerate, correct, then that bolt will be removed. So, shut up. The nut, the bolt and the nut. Uh-huh. The bolt and the nut on the other end that holds it. Then sir, that will be removed. Mm-hmm. Remove it, throw. So, so understand. Nilavatara. Yes. So understand. Yes. <laughs> 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 another principle in Vaishnavism is sometimes devotees undergo voluntary suffering. Hmm? And sometimes devotees go out of their way for suffering. Very good. Well, voluntary suffering. Very good. Yes, voluntary suffering. So how do we distinguish that between that and unnecessary austerities? But, it's not an easy thing. Mind is so stupid. Today you take a bow, I'll do. Next day you break it. Stupid mind. 
<laughs> you are very weak, you have no strength to keep up your bow. Huh? But when Guru orders, you have to do it. <laughs> then stupid mind says, no stupid mind, my Guru Dev has ordered me. The stupid mind wants higher command. Hari Guru Charno Pasana, that is weapon. How to control this stupid mind, stubborn mind, disobedient mind, huh? pagal man, mad mind. This is the weapon, Hari Guru Charno Pasana Astra, exalted of Hari Guru. Huh? Guru has said, Guru's order, higher commands. Mind comes, oh, it's very difficult. No, Guru there has said. Strong. Stupid mind, you have to listen to me. I won't listen to you. Gurudev has said, I cannot listen to you. Get out from here. <laughs> then you have to do. Otherwise, you take up voluntarily. Today you take, tomorrow you break. Not easy thing. <laughs> Understand? Madhavananda. But if you are so strong, you may. But it's very, very difficult. I heard from one devotee, one school Maharaj, that we either accept voluntary austerity or Krishna will force the austerity just like Supanaka. Yeah. Yes, voluntary if you can take up, very good, I say. But such difficulty is there. A stupid mind will create such thing. Oh, it's too much a light. Give it up. But, but one devotee told me once that Krishna will force the austerity. Yes. He will force you to <laughs> accept some other austerity then. Yes. Some other Sarah austerity will come, you'll, you'll block this one, some other will come, then you'll suffer. Some yes. suffering will come. The doctor says, hey, no more eating fish, no more eating tea, no more eating this, no more eating spices, nothing. Only liquid food, only boiled. So, it's forced now. <laughs> it's forced now. <laughs> I'm still wondering, Guru a lot many times in our movement, devotees preach against fog of Aragya, against false renunciation. Like, uh, there's one devotee I heard of, who is fasting? Yes. And he, this devotee fasted something forty days, and he was fasting and fasting, and finally he Therefore, died. Don't act whimsically. <laughs> don't act whimsically. Whimsically, this, because this path is a religious path. You don't know it. You don't know it. You understand? You'll commit so much wrong, mistake. So under the guidance of guru, you do it. That's advisable. Don't act whimsically. You'll commit wrong. You commit wrong. That's fact. So, on other, always, always follow the order of the Guru. But Guru says, Guru has given you already some do's, some don't do's. That restriction is there, that sadhana is there, that tapasya is there. Yes, yes. Follow it strictly. We have four regulative principles. Follow it strictly. Yes. Mm, any pretext, don't break it. But you are breaking it, uh, any pretext. Yes. Yes, uh, I was far away, nothing to eat. I was very hungry, starving, skinny, became weak. I cannot move, so I went to restaurant, hotel, I ate. Finished. So. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> <laughs> so, any pretext you may break it. Sometimes it's very diff dangerous, the path of preaching, because sometimes we see in the name of preaching, oh. devotees do, as Prabhupada would say, any damn thing. Yes, <laughs> any damn thing. <laughs> any damn thing. <laughs> You'll do any damn thing, what will preach? They'll say, you are doing this thing while te telling me, Baba. Uh -huh. You are doing the damn thing. Well, <laughs> telling don't do this thing. I won't listen to you. <laughs> what is the value? What is the potency in your words? Huh? Is empty words. No potency. Nobody will listen to you. They say Srila Bhakti Siddhanta said you preach, and if you have to, you eat meat and drink vodka. Ah? There's nothing else. <laughs> what is that? They say Bhakti Siddhanta said you go and preach, and if you have to, you eat meat and drink vodka. If there's nothing else, but you preach. <laughs> so they say it's like that. So utility is the principle. I had Bhakti Siddhanta <laughs> done so. <laughs> Who says like that? <laughs> but that is general, general rules, general rules. You understand? General thing, general rules are there. 
So some general rules should be observed. Otherwise, preach means you'll preach. They'll listen to you and they'll obey you. But when they look at your activity, he's saying, but he's not following. Why shall he do? So your words have no potency. They are empty words. It won't affect. You understand? It will not. That will produce no effect at all. But your Mahaprabhu's process, Apani Atsari Dharma Aparishikha, you observe in your life, then teach. Huh? Mahaprabhu was so strict. Huh? He is Supreme Personal Godhead. And he can do and undo things. Nothing impossible for him. But he did while well. Lord Ram didn't break, didn't transgress. Huh? Very strict to follow. He could have done it. No. Unless I do. Why give you? You understand? They teach us by their own activity, following strictly. Huh? It's more jada prasutam. Huh? Never broke. You never transgressed Vedic etiquette. Very strictly follow. Even he banished his dear wife. He knew, she's just. But ideal king, I have to do it. Otherwise, I can't rule the citizen. My citizen will follow me. Huh? Isn't it? So, you understand, what said, eat meat and preach. If you eat meat and preach, your preaching will never be affected. <laughs> <laughs>